What is up everybody, Scape211 here, and today we got a comparison, the big showdown between Surge and Eclipse. Both of these are top tier mechs for a lot of people, and both of them are on the gear hub in the same spot, so a lot of us want to know which one you should go with. So I wanted to give my thoughts, and then you guys can share yours with me as well. Now generally speaking, when I look at these, I would usually look at their stats. Uh, and uh, compare those, but the stats on these are basically the same. Their HP, I think, is exactly the same. Their speed is super close. Uh, and then, uh, as far as their availability, like I just showed on the Gear Hub, they're in the exact same uh, tier and pretty much the exact same cost here. So, uh, you know, not much to share there. So, I just want to talk about their overall functionality, pluses and minuses, and that kind of stuff in actual gameplay. So, let's cover that. Here we go. So we're going to start with Eclipse. I'll give you some of the positive and some of the negative for this guy. Generally speaking, I really enjoy using Eclipse. He is one that uh, I've had for quite a while on my free-to-play account. Got a lot of play with it and uh, find him really effective. I would say he is an S-tier mech. I don't necessarily think he's the top of S-tier, but I'll talk a little bit about that when I get to some of the negatives. But generally, a really, really solid choice for sure. Um, very, very useful. He is generally good and I think probably best in CPC where his positional advantage um, and his ability shine the most, especially against certain weapons that you would see in this mode like Helix or Mortars. He can be a direct counter to those uh, and they're the most prevalent here. So it, it again, just gives him an overall advantage there. Um, I would say as far as weapons go, generally good with most weapons. I, I don't really think he is quote unquote bad with any but probably the weakest with close up weapons just because you'll take more damage as you get close up even when you're in stealth um, depending on the weapon of course but you usually will take damage um, just given you know the nature of being that close to your target uh, he can actually do pretty darn well against any mech because of his ability he can counter other abilities or just negate them overall so it makes him very effective especially against EMP based mechs and that means he's actually quite effective against Surge which is the other one on this list so in a 1v1 situation, I think Eclipse actually has a little bit of an advantage based on his ability against Surge. But, you know, obviously it depends on the player skill in those situations. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about the negatives for Eclipse. Uh, I would say he's slightly fragile. I don't really think he's super fragile, especially with mods. But when you consider the other mechs that you see in top, uh, like Nomad or Vortex or Bastion, that kind of stuff, they generally have more survivability than this guy, um, just because overall he's kind of weak. Um, and one of his weaknesses is splash weapons. And a very common splash weapon you will see are Storm Racks. So Storm Racks, especially when you get into top game, you'll probably see at least all players using one build probably two of storm racks uh, so that gives a problem for um, eclipse to deal with overall um, so that gives him a little bit of a weakness there even though he's not like super fragile he's also i would say not exactly ideal against two of the top mechs in the game and that being nomad uh, and vortex because both of them have damage reduction and he doesn't directly stop them like a surge would, um, they're going to be able to retaliate as he's using his, um, or as they're using their ability, and your damage will be mitigated there. So you lose some of your advantage in those encounters, and therefore can you know have more chance of losing them uh, against that player. So um, not exactly the best, but still, like I said, I would still consider him someone in S tier, uh, just maybe not within those top couple S tier you know mechs that you would use overall. All right, now we're gonna talk about Surge and we wanna talk about some of those pluses and minuses for this guy. This guy is one of the, if not the top mech in the game, all right? He just has the speed and the survivability overall in one package to make him super deadly. And really all that generally comes down to his ability, which is a dash, which is already OP, but with that dash, you get EMP and you get stealth, which is just insane. It allows him to have the type of damage and window that he needs. It allows him to be a great beacon runner. It allows him some stealth to deal with problematic stuff like Seekers and Helix and Mortars. And it means that in most 1v1s, he will be able to get little retaliation and survive quite well. So super, super effective overall package. He's great in all modes. I would say probably the most effective in 2v2, just because there's less targets. So you'll have less retaliation as you're trying to take down your 1v1 encounters. And given his abilities range, it's hard for targets on those smaller maps to get away from that. So again, probably the most effective there, but still super effective everywhere. Uh, I would say he is also more effective against players than bots. Even though he's great at both, he's probably better against players. Kind of flip-flop to Eclipse, 
just because with uh, the bots, even when they're not looking at you, they can still sometimes, you know, stop you in your tracks when you're using your ability like a Guardian or like a, you know, a Zephyr or something like that with an EMP. Whereas players, you know, you can get the jump on them, especially with latency. You can get those good situations where you can lock people down and then just take them out. So, yeah, generally very effective against players. Um, I will say he also is pretty darn good against those top mechs that we talked about with Nomad and Vortex. Even though I will say he's not like super, super good, he has a good fighting chance against them and can pretty much negate their damage reduction if you use your abilities around the same time. Um, so it means that he can be effective against those top mechs, which is super important because um, that's when, you know, when you think of competitive play, that's what you're going to be fighting. So he has a good fighting chance in those encounters. Uh, he can also run just about any weapon, guys. I mean, I don't know if there's any bad weapons for him. I, okay, I mean, of course, like auto cannons or plasma cannons. But when I think of the stuff that is competitive that people will use, he can run pretty much all of them effectively. I would say he's most effective with close range just because that's where he can do the most DPS and use his EMP and take them out before they can retaliate. That's why you see a lot of stuff like revokers on him. But yeah, I mean, very, very effective uh, with all that kind of stuff. Now, there are a couple negatives to Surge, I would say. Uh, generally speaking, he is not super durable. Again, when you compare him with the other stuff, he's not the most durable mech. He does have better survivability and durability, I think, than Eclipse, just because, you know, he's got that EMP window that he can do in those direct encounters. But yeah, out in the field and generally speaking, or if like somebody... Uh, you know, teams up on him, he's going to be in trouble. So, you know, that is that is a knock against him. He also has a couple problem mechs like Eclipse, like we said before, uh, and then Bastion, which are a little bit more difficult for him to deal with, and those are still top tier mechs. But those are usually not the most top tier, so I think he, again, has a little bit more advantage or a competitive edge than uh, probably some other mechs that you would think of. And that is it for this comparison, you guys. Uh, as I said, I generally favor Surge in this matchup, especially when you're talking about top end competitiveness. Now, that said, again, both of these are S tier. Both of these are super good. You can use both in your end game hangar. It's not like you don't see Eclipse in the end game. You just tend to see Surge in pretty much every end game hangar, whereas you don't always see Eclipse. You got a lot of other options like Aegis, Seeker, Bastion, Lacewing, all that other kind of stuff, um, aside from the other top ones like Nomad and Vortex. So, you know, you just may not see Eclipse up there, but I really love Eclipse. It's one of my favorites. I, I tend to use him, you know, even if I end up going somewhat end game, even with this free to play account. Um, so yeah, it's not to say that you shouldn't get him. Uh, I actually think if you're someone who is casual and not going super, super competitive, Eclipse is a great one for you to get. But if you do plan to be very competitive, I think, you know, Surge is the obvious choice or the more favored choice between these two. But that's just my overall thoughts. You guys can let me know what you think feel free to comment below and we will see you out there on the battlefield.